Hey everybody, thank you so much for subscribing to the Trinity Fitness app. I hope you're enjoying the workouts. We've got a Trinity Fitness warm up for you, hopefully to help you get warmed up and ready to go for these battles. So here's how it goes. Uh, first of all, we're gonna start off with some cardio. I'm gonna leave that part up to you, but I'd like for you to do two to three minutes of cardio. Could be a run up and down your street. Could be jumping rope. Could be running in place jumping jacks, maybe you have a stationary bike, something to get your heart rate up. After that, we're gonna follow this formula, which we have gotten over the years for some, from some great uh, physical therapists. So there's a rhyme and a reason to these, warming you up from head to toe, and it works. I'm not gonna spend much time on each of these exercises, but I wanna show you what they look like. You can take as much time as you need. I'm in Trinity Fitness right now. We usually take about seven minutes with the cardio and this list, and then we go right into the battle. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna show you what these movements look like. All right, first of all, we got arm circles. So we're gonna do small circles forward, then a little bit bigger, and then real big circles. Okay, we might take 15 seconds with that. Then we're gonna go small circles back, bigger circles backwards, and then real big circles back. From there, I'm gonna grab my tag. These are called tag throws, like I'm grabbing the tag on my shirt and violently throwing it down. So it looks like that. I would do that about five times. Then from there, I'm gonna do trunk twist. You can see that I'm moving down, starting at the top, moving down. After trunk twist, I'm gonna to go to hip rotations. I'm gonna go three in each direction. Then from there, I'm gonna do what I call toe heel. I'm gonna to touch my toes, touch my heels, reach for the sky. Toe, heel, reach for the sky. So I'm getting a good hamstring glute stretch. I'll do that about five times. Then from the back of the leg, I'm gonna to move to the front of the leg and I'm gonna do a dynamic quad stretch. So I'm gonna grab my shoelaces, point my knee right to the ground. Two, three seconds, I'm gonna to go to the other side. Two, three seconds. I'm gonna go back and forth till I hit three on each leg. Then from there, I'm gonna actually go down to the floor. So check this out. I'm gonna be in a pike position with my hips up in the air, and I'm gonna do an Achilles calf stretch, just back and forth here, all right? Then I'm gonna raise my right leg and put it beside my right hand. I'm gonna reach across, see if you can see this, reach across here and then rotate up to the sky. And I'm gonna do that five times. After that, I'm gonna take my elbow and drop it down. I can get mine to my ankle. See if you can get yours to the floor as low as you can. Hold that. From there, lunge position. Make sure you have a right angle in the knee joint. Move your hips forward. Shoulders, fingers interlock and shoulders go back. It's called a Samson stretch. Oh, it's great. It stretches the whole body out. Oh, about five seconds on that. Then I'm gonna lean back and I'm gonna go opposite hand to opposite foot and get another hamstring stretch. I'm gonna hold that. From there, I'm gonna go right back in to my pike position and I'm gonna go Achilles and calves again and then I'm gonna do it on the other side. Left foot up beside the left hand. I'm gonna reach across and up and I'm gonna go five times on that. Drop the elbow down again, so I want to stretch the hip flexors out, okay? Drop the trail knee into Samson stretch. Hips come forward, shoulders go back. And in class, I'm gonna be doing this a lot slower. You take your time with it. Again, we take about seven minutes to go through this warm up. After Samson stretch, I'm gonna hit the hamstrings again, opposite hand to the foot, stretch out the hamstring. And then from there, I'm gonna go into my push-up position and do a slow count down, five, four, three, two, one, and I'm gonna do a seal stretch up, rotating my neck. Okay, super important, loosen up the neck. And I'll do that, I'll hold this about 10 seconds, then I'll come back to a child's pose. You might, if you're in yoga, you might recognize this. And I'll lean to the right, lean to the left and I'll stretch out my shoulders and my lats for that. That's the whole routine. The only thing left is muscle memory and that depends on what the battle is for the day. We'll typically take two, three movements that are in the battle 
and slowly work our bodies through the range of motion. So if I've got squats in the battle, I'm gonna take some time and do some air squats. I might do a set of 10, slow, working all the kinks out. If push-ups or pull-ups or lunges are in the battle, I'll take a little bit of time to work those movements and then I'm ready to go. I hope that helps you. God bless you. We'll catch you next time. And thanks again for subscribing to our app.